Quinta Quinte, rahmatullah alayh. How many people have heard of Quinta Quinte here? Okay, how many of you have heard of Malcolm X? Rahmatullah alayh. How many of you have read Malcolm X's biography? Who was that written by? Alex Haley. Alex Haley's great, 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 great grandfather is Quinta Quinte. If you read the book Roots, which Alex Haley also wrote, he talks about his great, 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 great grandfather being kidnapped from his, from his village in the Gambia. He's kidnapped by individuals who take him here to be enslaved. He goes through all the hardships and the injustices of slavery, a free individual who's put into this situation. His family never knows what actually happened to him. When he creates another family here, his own daughter is sold away from him. So his own family that continues never knows what actually happens to him. But every time he goes through the pains of his life, he continues to say, it was Allah's will. And I tried to pray my subah prayer. And he continues to talk about this connection to Allah in a place where he's forced not to speak his native language, in a place where he's forced not to have his Islamic identity, but he continues to be close to Allah despite the struggles that he's going through. Now, that understanding of Quinta Quinte at one point, I mean, this, this, this brother, subhanAllah, he is in one of the most difficult situations ever. He's, in, he's, he's enslaved. And yet, through all of that, the power of his closeness to God, he eventually says that he didn't do all the things that he might have done in the beginning when it was easier, but he hoped that Allah would accept from him that he never touched pork and he never drank alcohol. He hoped that Allah would accept from him. And he talks about the things that he tried his best to do regardless of his situation. Now, Quinta Quinte, no one in his immediate family knew what happened to him. But look at how many centuries later, his grandson wrote a book that affected our understanding of Islam in America. Malcolm X rahmatullah has been a means of people not only finding the beauty in Islam, but understanding the concept of social justice within an Islamic perspective. His great, 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 great grandson was somebody who helped America understand Islam in a different way. And yet, Kunta Kinte rahmatullah alayh was so removed from every single Muslim that he grew up with. He was so removed from his community. Yet his sincerity to Allah, his understanding of maintaining that connection despite the struggle, his closeness to God was what allowed for him, subhanahu wa ta'ala, to allow his actions to continue despite the fact that nobody in his immediate time frame knew what happened to him. Look at us. Every single one of us are going eventually to leave. But we may be doing something right now between us and Allah that affects people that may not even know it affects them, that continues to help people, inshallah, centuries later. And inshallah, those people like us will make dua for them, like Kunta Kinta Rahmatullah Alayhi.